Hey there, and welcome to Tone Motion. It's been a while, but I'm back with a new repaint video on YouTube. Like I mentioned I would do in my 2009 Christmas special. Anywho, in this video we're going to make the sixth and last Divis. A blue greenish squirrel boy. With the name Gregory Shurus. Shurus meaning squirrel in Latin. This mystery guy is related to Penny, but is he her brother, father, nephew, uncle, neighbor, dentist? Well, you have to watch the TV series to find out. Let's begin and make Greg Shurus. Gregory already had a big reveal in Divis episode 13, but there was also a hint in the exclusive Patreon YouTube membership repaint reward video, the Jackalope. The repaint video you are watching now will contain two hints. One hint for the upcoming exclusive repaint video, and the other hint will be for the upcoming YouTube repaint video. So good luck finding the hints. For this repaint video I'm going to use Monster High Boy Claude Wolf. I already prepped a Mottos giveaway video, if you can remember. And for his body, I'll be using this very articulated male obitsu body, like always. And whoa, we haven't seen her for a while. Yeah, why not give Penny also a more articulated body? I really want to keep her petite body shape, so I'm going with this 23cm S bust obitsu body. Yeah, with this new body, she'll be able to wear her old Lolita dresses. But I am going to make her legs a bit longer. So we go to the workbench and saw the lower legs in half. So we can extend them later. By the way, Gregory is not going to get any bent legs. Because squirrels have plenty great legs. As you can see on the picture of this skeleton. Now we only have to match her new body with her old body tone. Speaking of dyeing a body, Gregory's whole body is going to be a mix of blue and green. At this point I didn't know Red Dye More just released a new tropical teal color. So a mix of green and blue it is. We fill a pan with water and dye. And here we go. Let's hope this works. Yeah, it's not the color I wanted. I soaked them in dye for quite a while, but the colors didn't want to latch on for some reason. So that's okay for the joints, but not the end results I was hoping for. Penny, on the other hand, looks much better. Well, except for her greenish hands and darker torso, which is the result of a vinyl material. We're going to fix that later. First, let's extend her legs. For this, I'm using sticks. You know, the ones you use for satay and stuff. And a lot of epoxy glue. When the glue is dry, we're going to fill in the gap with epoxy sculpt. And when that's dry, we're going to sand it down with my Dremel. Yep, a lot of work for a small leg extension, but it's worth the trouble. Okay, back to Gregory. Still working with epoxy sculpt, I'm going to shape two pointy ears. Wait for the clay to get dry and trace the ears. Great, now we have a guideline for the reroute. For his hair, I'll be using this teal saran hair. He will be cutting short hair. So we can cut the strand a few times. For a fuller look, I already painted his skull with a green blue paint. Yeah, that's really the name of the paint color. And now we can take a strand of hair, bind it around your finger, slide it on a needle I cut on an angle, and push it into a pre-made hole. It's kinda time consuming, but very relaxing. 
At the end, I like to bind a hair elastic around the head. So it's easy for me to make a part. To secure the hairs from the inside, I like to use a universal glue and a Q-tip. Try to get the glue on every plug on the inside. After a day of drying, it's time to set the hair. We do this with boil washing. A small haircut and yeah, pretty nice. Ok, the head is done for now, let's switch back to his body. We're going for this turquoise color from Liquitex. Spray cans can be tricky and you can ruin a doll's body quite fast, so practice is required. But this is so much easier than working with an airbrush. Oh, by the way, I also found a suiting color for Penny's body. I think I gave the body about 4 to 5 layers of paint in the end. And I'm very happy with the result. But Gregory's body will also be needing some white patches, just like Penny. Like his chest, feet, hand palms and legs. He is also getting a few light scars. This character has teleporting powers. And I imagine, not knowing how to control his powers in the beginning, he probably got a few scars. Something I also want to give this character is a few cool tattoos. Especially a big one in his neck. I made a few sketches and I decided to go with this one. I first sketch out the lines and paint them in with black acrylic paint. Yes, awesome! Oh, and before I forget, I also make a little hole in his lower back for his future tail and one higher on his back. This will be for a stop motion rig, if I ever want this character to jump in an animation scene. Oh, here's a little trick. To prevent the paint from rubbing off, I cover the end with a small layer of super glue. I do this around his neck and torso. But this will of course not work on smaller joints. And now I cover the whole body with two layers of matte varnish. His spare hands that came with the body can be stored for future stop motion scenes. And now we can reconstruct the body. It looks kinda difficult at first, but Opizo bodies are very easy to build. It's almost like a toy from a surprise egg. Let's check with Penny. I also gave her the white patches on her body and a few freckles to match her face. But the neck pack isn't very suitable with the ever after high doll hats. So let's fix that. I take this mold maker, but this time we're going to use it the other way around. <laughs> Mix it and sculpt it around the neck opening. Wait for it to cure and now we have a perfect fitting ring. Luckily, Gregory's head doesn't have any trouble getting on a pizza neck pack. With an exacto knife, I'm going to give him two more scars on his face. This character is 25 years old, so that means animal features, which I'll be making from epoxy sculpt. His face needs to match with the color of his body, so spray can paint it is. Yeah, with all that hair, it's best to hand paint the color. And now for his nozzle, his scars, and a black nose. The spray can paint can be a bit sticky on a vinyl hat, so it's best to cover the whole hat with two layers of matte varnish. Just like I did with all my red foxes, I'm also going to give him a gradient in his hair with ink. 
wait for the ink to dry and tuck the hair back with scrap fabric and pins. Now we can spray the face with a layer of Mrs. Super Clear. This will give the face a sand-like texture and more grip to sketch on. For this I will be using watercolor pencils. I am looking at Penny for our references, but this character is going to be somewhat of a bad boy. Sassy and bit of a know-it-all. Well, literally a know-it-all because he can also read minds. <laughs> well, he's definitely going to be my new favorite character in the series. To match his overall look, I'm going to give him his mother's eyes. And now that I'm shading his eyes with pen pastels to tone down the crazy look, let's get into the question of the day. We all know your favorite custom was Alex, but what custom was the most fun to make? Whenever it was because of the body mods, the team or just the character? The custom that was the most fun to make, hmm. Well, I have fond memories with all the dolls I make. But the doll that pops in mind is Gengar. Many things on body modifications were still new for me at the time. And Gengar is my favorite Pokemon. I also have great memories with Harris, Volpini, Eland, James and Pikachu. But that doll wasn't really appreciated. Well, do you have a question of the day? Leave it in the comment section and maybe I will answer it in the next repaint video. Back to the face up. Some less blushing with pastel powders and he's done. To seal in our hard work, we spray the doll's head with a few layers of Mr. Super Clear. Let's give Greg and Penny a fluffy new tail. I bind the yarn to a giant color fly swatter and comb out the yarn with a pet brush. Then I cut off the yarn from the fly swatter and glue it on a freezer bag with fabric glue. Wait one day for it to dry and peel it off the freezer bag. Prep a wire with bandage tape so the yarn vest will have grip. And start gluing on the vest with a hot glue gun. Untangle the tail with a pet brush, glue on the tail into the body with super glue or a two part epoxy glue. Both will work fine. Penny has a new fresh tail and can be dressed. And now she can be lost in the story again. Not forgetting those pointy ears we made way back into the video. We're first going to paint them a teal color and cover them with loose yarn webs. And now they can be glued into the hat. Okay, now the ears are drying, let's work on this outfit. I bought this long black jacket, I think about a year ago, with this character in mind. Yeah, I like to plan ahead. But I am going to alter this jacket by making a slit for his tail and a hole in the back for a stop motion rig. I also made the bottom of the jacket a bright yellow to match his eyes and these awesome sneakers. But I also made them in white v-neck t-shirt and black jeans. which I roughed up a bit with sandpaper. Only his father's golden pocket watch and his outfit is complete. Okay, back to his head again. I want this character to have a lip piercing. So I very carefully push a hole into his lip. I placed in a wire, some color correction, and we have a dull lip piercing. Like with all my male characters, two bushy eyebrows are required. It takes some patience and a trim. 
some blushing with pastel powders and hairstyling with my Screaming Man hair gel and the head can go back on the body This character will be kinda like James. He will have a lot of influence on the deeper storyline. So fans of the series will definitely have something to look forward to. And people who haven't seen the series yet, you really should give it a try. I have a playlist. Oh, before I forget, I would like to talk about a new feature on my channel, YouTube Membership. The join button on my channel makes it able for you to support Dollmotion. But it can also give you access to exclusive reward videos, just like on Patreon. My newest exclusive repaint video is the Jackalope, Cowboy Outcast and Jolie's great 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 grandfather. But YouTube memberships will also give you a badge. This badge will be visible behind your name in the comment section and in live chats. So click on the join button to see a video with Alex for more information. Speaking of supporters, we really need to thank my patrons of honor, Chelsea Panda Monkey, Amethyst Drake, Art Weasel Customs, Erica Warren, Laura Oliver Hatfield, The Oreo Jedi, Crazy Girl 57, Pop Kalisi, Joe, Aries the Bolt, Melody Lycan YT and other patrons for their amazing support. This channel couldn't exist without their help. And like always, like if you liked it and sub if you loved it. Don't forget to ring the bell for notifications and I will see you in the next video. Bye!